In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to draw a five-point rosette. You'll need a straight edge, a pencil, and a compass. To begin, take your straight edge, draw a line, and mark a center point. We'll call the center point A. Take your compass and send it to the radius that you desire your circle to be. Where our original line intersects a circle, let's label those points as point B and point C. Next, we want to draw a line that's perpendicular through point A with our original line. To do that, set the point of your compass at point B and increase the radius setting of your compass and draw an arc above and below the circle. Keep the setting the same and set the point at point C and draw intersecting arcs above and below the circle. Take your straight edge and where those arcs intersect we'll draw a straight line through point A. That forms a perpendicular. Next, set the point of your compass at point B and set the distance to point A. And draw an arc that intersects the outside of the circle at two points. Again, take your straight edge and where that arc intersected the circle, draw a straight line. Where they intersect, let's label that as point D. Now take your compass, set it at point D, and where this perpendicular line intersected the top, Let's label that point E. Set your compass from D to E. Once you've got that, draw an arc from E, intersecting your original line at point F. Now take your compass and set it the distance from E to F. And this distance should divide your circle into five equal parts. So I'll start at E and make a point there, make an arc there. And I'll follow that around the outside of my circle And this last one right here should be the same distance from here to E, showing that I've divided it into five equal segments. You can see that from E to point one, two, three, four, and finally back up to point E. If we were to take our straight edge, and draw from E to 1. From 1 to 2. Two to three. Three 
3 to 4 and 4 back up to the top at point E, you'll see that we've drawn a perfect pentagon. I hope you enjoyed this quick lesson. Remember, introduce a kid to chip carving, and I'll see you here again next time.